Until about 1902, legal food preservatives included chemicals like formaldehyde, borax, and copper sulfate. That is, until one guy organized a poison supper club to stop it and became the father of the FDA. Mm. Okay, here's the story. In order to keep food looking fresh, food manufacturers used a slew of chemicals. Copper sulfate, a common pesticide, made canned peas bright green. Borax and formaldehyde were packed with meat to make it appear fresher. At this time in our history, there were no true food regulations. You didn't need to label your ingredients. There was no safety testing, no monitoring. Q. Dr. Harvey W. Wiley a chemist with the crazy idea that these chemicals had no place in our food. He started some hygienic lab trials where he could officially test the effects of these poisons on the body. It was easy to get the chemicals, but he needed the bodies. And that's where the poison squad came in. The first 12 members of the poison squad were volunteers from the Department of Agriculture, and they volunteered to eat his poison food for six months so he could track the effects it had on them. Each day, the menus would change, and Wiley's volunteers never knew which poison they were consuming. A dinner at the Poison Supper Club might look like this. Applesauce, soup, turkey, canned string beans, sweet potatoes, white potatoes, chipped beef, bread and butter, coffee, rice pudding, and a little borax. Throughout the trials, Wiley noted signs of acute poisoning, including upset stomachs, nausea, diarrhea, vomiting, kidney damage. You know, things that happen when you get poisoned. And this did not stay hidden. The press caught on, and in 1906, the first food regulations were passed. This ultimately led to the creation of the FDA. So thanks, Dr. Wiley. Our food is so much better without all that borax. <laughs> <laughs>